everyone. Uh, this session, that's uh, remember last session we discussed about the law of sines and the law of cosine, and this time we try to approve uh, Huron's Huron's formula. What is Huron's formula? Um, let's just look at this uh, triangle, okay? Uh, in fact, it's random triangle. This, which means this can be any triangle ABC. Okay. Uh, the area of this triangle equals to half of the perimeter. Half of the perimeter times half of the perimeter minus each side. Production to each other, and then totally under square root. This is the area. Uh, pro probably normally we just know the area is the base times height, right? So for the, any triangle, you can find the three base and three height. It's up to you, right? But here we just make the base as the AC, right? W and the height. Uh, we just draw a uh, uh, vertical line that's perpendicular to AC, right? So we call it as A, right? So, uh, so this is another way to uh, naturally know how to calculate the area of the triangle, right? It's not one half of the base times height, but if you know the three sides if we know the three sides the length of three sides you automatically can calculate it the area that's very interesting right so so the s this is a formula here so s i have to write in s equals to s equals to u plus v plus what w over 2 this is s okay uh how to approve that uh so in this session i'm more focused on how to prove this okay um they have a lot of algebra operation i may not uh, operate until simplified or expand until last step because uh it may be spent very very long time and very very easy to make mistake but i have already at my back end calculated through some online tools so but later i just will borrow them okay so first let you know <laughs> so what we want to get a is the area abbreviation so a uh, is equals to one half right and uh, the the base is w right and the uh, the height is a am i right this is a right and then this is the what w right and i just make sun here i normally make a sun here to show it's 90 degree okay so this is the uh formula okay so uh we how to prove this we have to make the this one this is the, this is the formula of a Herm, Herm, maybe Huron's formula Huron's formula equals to the normal formula if they are totally same finally on both sides then okay right so uh now we know w right if we already know the three side right w we need to know what we need to know what is uh, a right what is a so a is what i'm writing uh, just let me know if uh, you agree with me v times sine c so this is angle c right sine c is what a divided by v right a divided by v right so here we have v so this is equals to w times a so this one so right now we need to find the sine c and the sine c we don't have a way to find but uh, we can find cosine c right so cosine c how do we do that remember we learned that, that in the law of cosine remember u use here 
okay u square equals to another two sides w square plus v square then minus 2wv right and then cosine c right so cosine c is equals to what cosine we move cosines to the right side okay it's to the u square to the left side okay so is equals to w square minus v square minus uh, plus sorry minus u square right yes yes so over what 2wv right yes yeah, I, I think i'm right <laughs> so then what's the sign c sine c we know cosine c we should know sine c right because sine c equals to what square root i'm not sure if you still remember or forgot one minus cosine c square am i right sine square plus cosine square equals to one right it's a formula so this should be one minus Ah, division sign and below is definitely is four square right w square v square am i right so up is w square plus v square minus u square okay so uh keep on simplifying okay i just come writing in a uh inside okay so this will be Uh, go up okay and the denominator is will be what 4 w square v square minus what w square then minus right v square then plus right u square right then divided by what 4 w square v square of course the denominator can be pulled out right am i right right can be pulled out okay or can be not pulled out but right now i'm just writing put there in the formula of uh, area of the triangle is one half wv then times what times what times sine c right sine c now we can times so just write times okay uh, four w square v square come out of the square root is two w v am i right and then in the upper there's no way to move them out so just borrow four w square v square then minus w square minus v square plus u square happy things this can be can so right so wait it seems to have something wrong sign C is uh, one over cosine cosine so one uh yes yes sorry here huh here's um cosine c square i'm just a square of the denominator but i did not the square the what nominator right so this should be square so this should be minus right this should be plus this should be the p uh let me okay this should be square and then this should be minus this is u square and then square right so here i should be i should be change uh for the denominator it's no change because they still can uh, they still can simplify it, right? They still can simplify it. 
so illuminator still there. Okay. So okay, let 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 me just simplify this one. Just write and make it clear. So a equals to what? This is a four, right? Two times two four, and up is a square root of what? Square root of what? Square root of a four w square v square minus w square plus v square minus u square then times square. Anyway, for w square plus v square minus u square, it's um, you only do is very complicated uh, and uh, I already do that I just copy my answer here <laughs> okay this is the this is the answer let me copy here uh, this answer of what this is answer of the this is answer of the square root okay so below is four so this is the a okay so so we have to be make sure our herons formula is same answer of this one then we can prove they are equal right so let's look at here uh, so what we need to do so we have to writing a is what square root <laughs> it's very long because it have four right so first is s u plus v plus w over two then times what s minus u right s minus u is what u ah uh, sorry so should be w plus v minus u divided by 2 am i right then s minus v should be w plus u minus v right and the next one is w should be u plus v minus w am i right okay so you you notice that in the denominator here is 2 2 2 2 is 14 is 16 16 is the four square so this can be move out is the four right let's look at here what's the difference there's no difference right only need to write if this one is same answer of the this inside yes i will not show you the very details but uh, i calculated them through the online tools they are the same equal answer okay so uh finally we approve this one so for uh herons formula what we learn is that how do you approve that first uh we make use of what make use of the sine cosine the law of the cosine do we use the law of sine no right law of sine is the is is, is the sign over the another side equals to proportion right uh, we don't use that uh, but we use the uh, another formula of sine square plus cosine square equals to one that's very basic right and the size from that we use a lot of uh, algebra calculation yeah right so that's all we are doing and uh, uh, please remember this so this will be provide a um, Herons formula provide a new way to calculate the area of the triangle. If you only know the three side the length of the triangle, you can calculate the area. Is that wonderful? To me, it is. Yes, right? Right? So, okay. So, thank you very much for you to join this session. Uh, have a nice day. Bye bye.